Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be filming a Bath & Body Works video for you guys. It's all the new scents that they just came out with. We have one little comparison to do. I'm super, super excited to share these items with you because I've been counting down the days until this stuff released because I was so excited. And I feel like Bath & Body Works, as a lot of you guys have been saying, like a lot of my fellow YouTubers, they've been saying like, where is the summer stuff Bath & Body Works? You are holding out, waiting for summer. Like, where's the stuff at? Because you're already talking, well, from what I heard, I need to get on Life Inside the pages blog spot but I guess she's like teasing fall and like some items like some scents that might be coming out where's the summer stuff but we finally got a little taste of summer um apparently there's more stuff coming out during SAS which I still can't figure out when SAS is I've seen so many different like spoiler dates but I don't know what the actual one is like I've heard June 1st I've heard May 26 I want to say I've just heard so many dates and like I'm trying to go on a trip and I'm like also working every other weekend right now because we're trying to get staff at work. But like, when is SAS? So if you actually, actually know, please leave it down below. But yeah, so there's like a whole, like the Firecracker Pop packaging, if you've seen that leaked, there's gonna be a whole like collection with that, but it's all repackages. This stuff here, it's actually new stuff. So that's what we're excited about. But right before I get into that, you guys know I have to chit chat a little bit. <sighs> I I did a thing, okay? I bought a freaking iPad, okay? I bought myself an iPad. I literally just set it up last night, so it is like, I have a couple apps on it. I've messed with it a little bit, but really I have a lot of work to do when it comes to this. I've wanted an iPad literally forever. My mom has always had an iPad growing up where she would sit on the couch and play her games or get on whatever apps that she would use and oh i have coffee on it of course <laughs> um yeah i've just always always wanted one and now that i've really been finding my love for youtube like i, I have always wanted to start a youtube and everything but i really want to like get my channel up and running i want to have some cooler cuter thumbnails and i use canva but it's just i don't know i feel like there's so much more potential for um my videos that i feel like this ipad is really going to excel my youtube capabilities and like my videos i need to learn to edit and stuff like that so yes i purchased this um as you guys know with my promotion like this is kind of like my treat to myself i might use it for work i'm not really sure there's actually a lady i work with she works in hr but she has like the ipad with the apple pencil and it's like all pink and i love it um i always like look over and i'm like oh, that must be so nice even though i do like writing with like a pen or pencil like on regular paper that's kind of satisfying to me i just wanted one of these so bad and i also am super into like budgeting and tracking like having a calendar for home a calendar for work like all that stuff and i can do all that on the ipad so i have a lot to learn like i said i actually bought an apple pencil figured out i bought the wrong one i bought the apple pencil second generation because it's new and i was like oh i'll get the new one yeah it's not compatible with the 10th generation ipad which is so weird to me I don't know. Um, I bought this off the Apple website. Um, so I have to go after I film this video, I have to go into town and buy um, the Apple Pencil that actually goes with this, but it's actually cheaper. So it's not the end of the world. But yeah, I'm so excited. Definitely let me know if you want any videos surrounding the iPad. Like once I figure out my stuff, like do you want like a budgeting video? I keep saying like somebody suggest a budgeting video and like nobody said anything, <laughs> but I might just do it anyway. Not that like it's going to be the most riveting thing, but I definitely have a system in place. It's working for the time being. I definitely want to adjust it as the months come and as I pay off some things. But yeah, I'm so excited for this. It's such a big girl purchase for me, but I couldn't be happier. I just am so in love with it. I Like I said, I just got it yesterday. So I only had yesterday to play with it, but I downloaded some things, watched some TikToks and trying to figure it out. Anyways, let's get in to the reason that we're here, okay? As you guys know, I hauled a bunch of fine fragrance mists when they had their last fine fragrance mist sale. And I did that with the purpose of eventually exchanging those items for these items because I knew they were coming out. I knew that they were a $17.95 price point, most of them. Um, and I just bought duplicates of stuff that I already had. So 
I was gonna show you guys like what I exchanged, but that I feel like is not really useful to you guys. Um, I can do a whole Fine Fragrance Mist collection eventually, not right now, um, but eventually when I do that, you can see what I have. But like I bought multiple of um, the In Bloom scent. Um, I literally just bought duplicates of every price point thing so that like when this stuff came out, I had stuff to exchange that was $16.95, $17.95, and $18.95. So yes, I have all the new stuff here and I'm so freaking excited to share it with you guys. Um, and like I said, we do have a comparison, but we'll save that part to the end. Well, I'll show you what it is and we'll talk about it at the end. So this is the new scent from Bath & Body Works. This collection is supposed to be like Sol de Janeiro dupes. And I only have one actual Sol de Janeiro product. I got this for my birthday. Um, I got a gift card for my birthday and I used this at Ulta. I love that Ulta now has Sol de Janeiro because it's just more reasonably priced. Like the rewards are better and stuff at Ulta and you can get free items with purchases. Whereas Sephora is very stingy and bougie and not in my kind of price point. So I used a gift card, got this. So I have this, I actually just took the seal off of it. So I haven't even sprayed this one, even though I know what this smells like. But yeah, this is the um, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Cherosa 62 Pistachio and Salted Caramel. So this is the Bath and Body Works version. This is called Vacation Vibe. It has, the front part of it says what pistachio and amber, the back uh, in the fragrance note category or like section, it says what pistachio, sun-drenched, jasmine, and praline amber. So this packaging, like, come on, the white top, we know what you're doing, Bath and Body Works. I, I've, I've watched a lot of videos spoiling this, talking about this, hauling this, whatever, because I got it Monday and today's Wednesday. I saw a lot of videos. A lot of people, I think it was Jasmine Bullard, she was saying like, we're done with the Sol de Janeiro dupes. We're done with it. I disagree, but I'm also, you know, trying to budget, trying to save my money that I don't have the Sol de Janeiro stuff. So, well, I have this. Um, and like I said, I used a gift card on it. I want to get the most bang for my buck. I want to get the Sol de Janeiro scent but I don't wanna spend the coin on it. That's how I feel about it. So I'm obsessed with Sol de Janeiro dupes. I have the pink one from Victoria's Secret. I have the Trader Joe's version. I have the Tree Hut version. Like anytime I can get my hands on a Sol de Janeiro dupe, I'm going to freaking get it, absolutely 100%. So I was so excited about this, so excited. I don't care that there's other dupes because I want the Bath & Body Works one and I'm hoping that we see this at SAS for 75% off. I'm not sure how popular this line is going to be um, because the last dupe collection, the one of like um, all the perfume dupes, like all the bougie Tom Ford, um, Lost Cherry, Caroline, Car Caroline Herrera, um, that one, like all the different dupes in that collection, like really, really did well. And I'm not sure how well this is going to do, but I wouldn't be upset if I saw it at SAS because that's when I want to get my stuff. So let's just smell this right out of the cap, out of the bottle. I'm so excited. I already smelled it in store. Like I said, I'm so happy my son's coming back because I really was so excited to get this, get my hands on this. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, actually screw it. We're not waiting till the end. We're just going to smell this one now to see if it smells the same. Okay, honestly, they don't smell the same, but don't, don't go running yet. Honestly, okay, let me take the caps off both of these. This smells stronger. This is a lot more vanilla and like gourmand. I don't know. And I've also heard that this big bottle of the Sol de Janeiro is just not as strong as like the smaller one, which is so funny to me because of course we... <laughs> We spend our money, our hard-earned money, and we get shitty products. <laughs> like, not that this is shitty, but it's shitty of them to make this, like, less concentrated. I know, it's just a body mist, but, like, come on. Yeah, this is just lighter. I get, like, I don't know. I get the pistachio. I get the salted caramel. It smells good. But this is just so much better. I feel like this is a lot more like beachy, vacation-y than this. This just smells deeper and more just girly and summery and 
I could see this being heavy, but I kind of love that because you're literally, you're gonna smell so good. I just feel like the lasting power is probably gonna be better on this one, which is crazy because this originally is like $30, I wanna say. And this was priced at $17.95. And like I said, I exchanged it and I had only paid like $3 and some change for the mist that I exchanged this with. Yeah, I don't, I honestly, I love this one so much more than this. Don't spend your money on this. Go to Bath and Body Works. Wait till semi-annual sale. Wait till they have a body care sale or a fine fragrance mist sale. Don't spend your money on this. I'm obviously still excited to have this and like, I could change my opinions on both of these as I wear them, but I love this so much. It smells so good. I think even though like all the Sol de Janeiro dupes kind of smell different, they do. Like the Victoria's Secret pink one, so much more like gourmand, so much more gourmand. It's straight like salted caramel, vanilla. You do get the pistachio, but it's a lot more like mixed in. This is just so good and I love having all the dupes. So keep coming out with the dupes. I'm gonna buy them <laughs> when they're cheap. So yeah, this, they don't actually have a lotion. They only have like a body cream or not a body cream, a body butter. I don't like the body butters. I like lotions because I have too many body creams and thick stuff that I want lighter weight. So I'm kind of sad they don't have a lotion with this, but they do have a shower gel and I was very tempted to buy it, but I did it. We'll, we'll wait till semi-annual sale to see what they come out with um for the 75 percent off price point because i would stock up on the shower gel i honestly would probably get the body butter because it's just that good it's that good that i actually got two of them this was my favorite scent of the stuff that i picked up so yeah i got two of them i'm definitely gonna pick up more it's so good i love the pistachio scents that everybody's coming out with i have the finery one it's so good okay next from that collection this is solar shine this says radiant coconut and vanilla, fragrance notes of radiant coconut, sunlit tuberose, and bronzed tonka. So I don't really like that they put coconut and vanilla on the front because I feel like some people could be like, oh, that's coconut and vanilla because they've had that scent before. I don't like that scent. I don't like coconut and pineapple from Bath and Body Works. I don't like those. This is so good. I almost got two of these instead of two of this because this is so good. Honestly, this is giving me Belize DNA. If you know anything about Belize, it's my favorite Bath & Body Works scent that has ever come out. I have some of it still in my collection, but I can't bring myself to use it because I love it that much. I only want to use it when I'm on vacation, at the beach, toes in the sand. Belize is that banana scent that they came out with in the tropical collection. This gives me that energy. It doesn't have banana in it, but the way Oh my gosh, <laughs> the way that this smells like sunscreen and the sun and the sand and the salty ocean, it's so freaking amazing. I'm getting so much of this when it goes to semi-annual sale. I might, ugh, I don't see myself spending 50% off on it, but hopefully I will get it for 50% off with the hopes that it drops down to 75% off and I can get it price matched or price adjusted and I can get my money back because I need so much of this that I never ever run out of it. Like I said, I still have Belize, but this is such a close like cousin, sister. I need this in body wash. I need it. The shower gel and the mist I will stock up on. The other items I might like pick up, like they have like a glowy body oil. That just seems like it would be a mess, but I would still get it because I love the scent of this so much and that's kind of a cool product. But yeah, we'll see what happens during SAS. But seriously, you guys have to get your hands on this. Whatever way you need to make it work, but do the buy three, get three free. It's fine, you know, it's better to get it than it run out and you can't get it. So the last one from that collection is Pink Paradise. This says dragon fruit and hibiscus. Fragrance notes of pink dragon fruit, wild hibiscus, and blush moss. So these are all supposed to be um, duping different Sol de Janeiro scents. Like I said, this is the only thing I have, so I can't compare this other the other things. This one is my least favorite, but it's not bad. It's really good. It's just more fruity, and I feel like you do get... I don't know, like something reminiscent in this. I'm not really sure what it is. 
it definitely smells like it could be a Sol de Janeiro scent for sure. Not that I've smelled a bunch of Sol de Janeiro stuff, but when I go into Sephora, like I definitely peruse that section. It's it's really good. It's just not my favorite because these are just so good. Um, so I still wanted to get it. The packaging is super cute with the little palm tree and like the pink waves. It's really, really cute. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. I could see myself getting a shower gel, maybe one back up, but definitely not something I need to super, super stock up on. It's just fruity. It's fruity with a little bit of like a, we'll say a sunscreen note, because I feel like that's kind of what all these have in a way. Okay, next. I was so excited for this to come out. This is the Fresh Amalfi Lemon. I was so surprised that this was only priced at $16.95. So this was actually reward eligible. I only had one reward and I debated on what to use it on. I'm gonna show it next after this, but I just went ahead and exchanged my musk duplicate that I had for this. I love that musk one and I wanted to have two in my collection, but I feel like that's definitely gonna be out for SAS. So I'll just wait to get that because I want to get like the full set of musk and lavender and apple because I love that collection. But I really, really wanted this. They've had fresh Amalfi lemon in the candle form before, or they have it now actually. This has fragrance notes of lemon leaves, chilled spearmint, and cedar wood citrus. I love the packaging. The lemons is so cute. It actually matches my nails right now. Um, this, the liquid is yellow, which is kind of cute. Okay, I did spray all these in the cap last night, kind of hoping that they would set and curate so I could get a good scent. So I'm not going to spray them in the cap today. This is really good. It's not a sweet lemon. So um, don't get your mind to think sweet lemon because you're really not going to like it. The spearmint, it's very light, but you can still smell it. It's not overpowering. Tina Marie said that she feels that this is very strong. I feel like on the body, it would be very strong. Out of the cap, I'm not smelling it like it's gonna like knock me over but it's definitely that mint note like those herbal notes I feel like really get into your skin and like that's what you smell the lemon's probably gonna be like on the back burner but it does smell very lemony it's a very fresh scent definitely not something that I need to like stock up on but I think it's a really cool thing for Bath and Body Works to come out with it's new they've never had it in body care and we love when they bring candle scents that we love into body care and I feel like fresh Malfi lemon gets a lot of hype in the candle so happy that they came out with this but I feel like it's definitely gonna like come and go I don't think it's gonna be very sought after just by us crazy Bath and Body Works lovers. Okay, this is the item that I actually used my reward on. I was so shocked that this was $16.95 and also shocked to even see it. I did not see this spoiled, leaked, talked about at all. I went into a store and maybe like I just missed something, but I went into a store and I saw this collection. There's coconut, which is the one I got. There's citrus, there's musk, and there's water. And I think that's all of them. So the only ones that were at my store was coconut and musk. And um, the one sales associate, I've never seen her before, but she was like talking to me, like a lot of the girls in there know me. This new one, she was like talking to me like, oh, have you like smelled this and smelled that? I'm like, oh yeah, like I have all of them. Um, but I was like, she wanted to talk so bad. So I was like, okay, like, come on Paige, you can take five seconds and talk. I had actually just got out of a night shift shift. Like I worked, 13 hours, 11 p.m. to noon. I was so tired, so I wasn't really feeling like talking, but I was like, oh, like it's so interesting to me that they have all these forms of musk. They have this in the musk, they have the new musk that's out with the apple and lavender, like I just said, and then they had if you musk in the dupe collection of the 10 fine fragrance mists that they came out with. And she was like, yeah, you're right. Like she almost like didn't really realize it until I like said about it, but I smelled the musk in this packaging, like in this collection, and it's not good. Like I liked If You Musk and I love the regular musk, like it's really good, but the musk in this was like, eh. I would really be interested to try the water one. Um, I just watched Kimball talk about it. Citrus doesn't really seem up my alley. I don't love citrus scents. Um, so yeah, I picked coconut. This smells so good. So good, like pure coconut. Um, yeah, it doesn't have scent notes, but I was going to get um, a, or a shower gel um, 
or not in that one, in vacation vibe. I was gonna get the shower gel and then I put it back and then I was like, oh, I could use it for this. And I was like, no, I have musk that I brought with me. It's my only $16.95 item. So let me just use my reward on this because this is exciting. This is six fluid ounces, whereas these are eight. So yeah. I don't know. This packaging, I love these types of tops more so. I don't know why. Um, like in the, the old packaging minis, you know I love that. So I'm hoping that I love this one just as much. But yeah, if these come out for SAS, I can see myself getting like the whole collection. But right now, like I'm not going to buy it. And I don't want to exchange my lavender and apple because those are $16.95. Like I don't want it that bad. I'm happy with the coconut one. I used my reward, got it for free, and I love it lastly okay i really had a debate like how many backups of this whole collection did i want and what else could i get because i brought a lot of items that were 17.95 18.95 and i was really expecting this to be 18.95 and it wasn't so i was like okay what do i do surprisingly my store still had the 10 cent dupe collection what the hell is it called because i can never remember but they still have some of it they don't have everything and as you guys know in that fine fragrance mist haul that i showed you i got what was it the rose one and the viva La, the viva vanilla i think that's what it is and i love the vanilla one so much and the rose is good because i did find out that i love rose so they don't have all of them anymore a lot of them are sold out because that collection like i said did very very well but there were some that i wanted because i keep watching more and more of these videos of people's like reaction and like comparison to the actual perfume that it's trying to dupe and i just am getting a little bit of a fomo and I, even if these items are 75% off at semi-annual sale, the $18.95 price point, you're going to pay upwards of like almost $5 at 75% off. I've gotten my fine fragrance mist for close to $3 even. Like I'm paying like $3.20 on them. So I wanted to exchange my items for things that were worth it to me and things that I'm not going to, like I, if I get this 75% off, I'm good with that. $18.95 at 75% off is expensive to me. So I chose some more items from the collection. I got three of them. So the first one is Lost in Centaur. This has fragrance notes of warm cardamom, satin sandalwood, and cedarwood. Now this one is probably my least favorite one out of the ones that I have, but I just see so many videos and people talking about this one that I really wanted it. It doesn't smell bad by any means. It definitely gives me the vibe of that together weather that they came out with in the winter, like around Christmas. And I hated that. I had to return it. I hated it. It's that herbal, like, I don't know, kind of unisex herbal type of notes that I just don't love. I love my sweet, my fruity, my and anything else. <laughs> this is just not something that screams me. But the green packaging, love um yeah it does smell good and i think on my um skin and like my scent chemistry this is going to turn to a really pretty fragrance it's just out of my comfort zone and that's okay that's okay um like i said 18.95 for these which is crazy but they are duping perfumes so i wanted more from this collection that's what i chose there really wasn't anything else 18.95 and i bought so many duplicates not so many like two or three of a couple of the collections that came out prior to um this release that I don't need more duplicates of that. I need things that I don't have and I don't have these things. So I'm so happy about it. And like I said, I love the packaging. I love that the top matches the fragrance. So that's the first one. The next one, this is Petal Parade. So I wish that they would have changed it up a little bit. I feel like they had like, what, three different fragrances that were in a pink colored packaging. The rose one I have is pink and I wanna say there's another pink one. But this one has fragrance notes of neroli petals, orange flower and white woods i'm so happy about this one this one is 10 out of 10 it is so good it's such a floral fruity like such a girly girly scent it is so pretty and even after watching all of everybody's videos of this collection i still can't tell you what this is a dupe of but whatever it's a dupe of, I feel like I've had before, smelled before. Um, I used to work at Macy's and I would go over, I worked at the Estee Lauder counter. 
I would always venture my way over to the perfumes and I would spray on something different every day. So I feel like this is something that I wore and maybe it's not. It's just slightly familiar to me, but so good. I'm so happy about this one. This is amazing. So yep, that is Petal Parade. And then lastly, this is one that when I first smelled it in store, I was like, I like that. I do like that. I don't know what it is, but I like it. This is Floral Fantasy. This has fragrance notes of peach, osmanthus, jasmine, and warm patchouli. Oh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's so perfumey. Like, obviously, these are duping perfumes. They're supposed to be perfumey. But this is just so elevated. Like, I can't even believe that the fragrances I'm smelling right now are literally from Bath & Body Works. Like, not that Bath & Body Works doesn't do scents, right? Like, clearly they do. These are just so pretty. And yeah, $18.95 is expensive. And like I said, with a 75% off. But the fact that they run Fine Fragrance Mist, like, if I could have found these at my store because I went to a different store during that sale, because it was actually a sale that was at select stores. They didn't have this collection at all. Well, they had the two that I found, but there was no display. And I want to say those had to be like online returns or something, because like I, there was no display. And not that I go to that store all the time, but my store had these. Bath & Body Works does perfume uh, or fine fragrance smith sales where it's a solid price, $5.95, $4.95, sometimes $3.95, and then they give you coupons. The fact that you can get something like this for under $5 and anybody in the world pretty much has the opportunity to get this for under 5 bucks, it's just so crazy to me because this is not something, like if you smelled this blindfolded and nobody told you what you were smelling, you would probably be astonished to know that it's Bath & Body Works. Like, oh my gosh these are so good honestly i might take my words back because if i found these because my store still has a decent supply of these three there's a couple more um the yellow one the blue one the horizon something um i'm trying to think what else they don't have if you musk or viva la vanilla those are i don't know why that's such a tongue twister to me um those have been sold out for a hot minute but like these ones if they go 75 percent off let me just see with my ipad is there a calculator on this thing what is 75 percent off of 18.95 calculator come on come on <laughs> obviously i was watching youtube no calculator come on oh, oh oh it wants me to download it son of a b okay google is taking me to a calculator so let's do 18 hello 95 minus 75 percent that ain't right divided by can i math i literally took calculus in high school i promise you guys What am I doing? I'm really looking dumb right now. What is 75% off of $18.95? Sari's really gonna come in clutch right now. $4.72-ish cents. It, it only took $18.90. Okay, so around $4.72. So like I said, still under $5. That's amazing. Honestly, okay, yeah, I'm taking my words back. Just because these are so freaking good and so strong and like just elevated, they're, they're amazing. I'm so happy that I got these. Honestly, I should go through my collection and see what else I have that's $18.95. I don't remember what other ones they had, but whatever ones they have that I don't have, because now I have five. So no, I have six, because I have the cherry one girl okay so i have six so i'm missing four so i should really take my other ones i, I definitely have more duplicates that i bought that were 18.95 so i can take those in what we'll, we'll see if i do that like i said i don't know what other ones are at my store but i need four more and i know i'm not gonna get if you musk 
the yellow one, the yellow one I could get. Like I said, don't love that, but oh, or do I just get duplicates of these? Cause these are amazing. So yeah, eight, $18.95, 75% off, roughly $4.72 or 70 cents. It's worth it for these. So um, I want to do an SAS video for you guys. Um, so that's definitely something that I can talk about, like what is worth it because these are worth it. These are totally worth it. And I feel like they're gonna go 75% off probably like right away. And it's not because, like I just don't see them going 50% off, they might, but because they literally were like here and gone. Like people bought the heck out of this collection. Actually, while we're here, let's just go to Bath and Body Works website. Okay, I know I still have to download the app, but let's go to, oh, it's in my favorites, of course. Let's see what other scents there are because even online for semi-annual sale, if these are 75% off online, I will place online orders at semi-annual sale. I will. Um, I don't like to place online orders. The shipping, outrageous. But usually there's stuff online that you can't get in store. So let's go to body care, body spray. And, oh, I accidentally clicked perfume. That's not what I wanted. Oh my gosh, come on. Let's see what other ones come up here. Oh, firecracker pop. It's on here as the online preview. Okay, Paige, let's do what we're trying to do here. Let's go high to low and see what comes up, okay? I love this iPad so much. It makes me so happy. Okay, alrighty, here we go. Pink Obsessed. We don't have that one. We need that one. Lost and Santal, we have. Okay, Petal Parade. That's this one, right? Yeah. Okay. Female Vanilla, we have Floral Fantasy. Oh, Cherry, we have those. If You Musk, we don't have. On the Horizon, which is the blue one. Covered in Roses, which I have. And Getaway Soiree. So we need Getaway Soiree, On the Horizon, If You Musk, and Pink Obsessed. Yeah. So those are the four that we need. And I know that the blue one and the yellow one are in my store. Let's go to see um, shop in store and see if they come up. Like if I can pick them up. Not that I'm gonna do that, but like. Hello? Yeah, they're not even coming up for Bobbis. They have citrus on Bobbis. I didn't see that in store yesterday. Okay, yeah, so they're, they're not showing up for Bobbis to know exactly which ones I have but or what ones they have in my store but yeah so that i guess i need to turn this off that is my haul my exchanges i am just now realizing in this video my stomach's growling how much i love these and how good they are so yeah definitely I'm gonna run upstairs real quick see what else i have to exchange no you know i don't need to do that i don't know i smelled the other ones and i didn't like them as much i'll just go look and see what i have maybe i'll get some more but i probably won't film that for you guys but yeah okay that's the end of my video thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you got your hands on the new stuff what you like what you don't like if you have sol de janeiro or like dupes or whatever let me know if you feel like that's similar or if you feel like it's more strong and more like beachy scented i don't know i just i don't like this one as much now um this still smells good it's just so much different than this okay i'm getting that in my mind okay i don't think this is the one that i sprayed i think it was this one i'm like wait i can't smell anything yeah this is so i feel like it's the i don't know is it the pistachio or the amber amber is a, a deeper scent this is just so much better okay so yeah let me know down below if you have any recommendations for the iPad. I need anything that I can get. I can't believe I bought the wrong Apple Pencil. So I'm going to go exchange that so that I can doodle on this tonight. I'm so excited. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.